All right, well, now let's talk about an alternative or something you can use in conjunction, I suppose, with PolyReduce, and that's going to be the Instant Mesh version of a PolyReduce. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Tab and then start typing in Instance, Instant, and then we're going to hit Enter, so we're going to grab this Instant Mesh node. Now, by default, you won't have this installed, but what you can do is up here in the parameters, you can say this Instant Mesh's website, you can click it, and that's going to load up a website that we can drag up here. This is their GitHub. You can scroll down. And you're going to see we can download this pre-compiled binaries. And here's more information on it, by the way, of what Instant Meshes is doing behind the scenes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on this Microsoft Windows and go ahead and download that. And I'm going to extract that onto my desktop. And that's just going to give you an Instant Meshes.exe. So where does this go? Uh, if you go to your settings here, you're going to see that under the Instant Meshes location, that Instant Meshes.exe should be in the root directory of your user preference folder. So if you remember back when we were doing the GoZ DLL deleting, if we go here to the Houdini 16.5, we were in the DSL folder and we deleted that. Uh, you're still going to, on a Windows machine, you're going to want to go to C, Users, Your Username, Documents, Houdini 16.5. And then the root directory of this, we're just going to move our Instant Meshes.exe right into this folder here. So now, if I take my voxel mesh result, so if we click on the visibility of this mesh, you're going to see here's our voxel mesh, and then we're going to plug that into this instant meshes node. Let me click on it and make it visible. You can see this is the result we're going to get. So we're getting very nice quad geometry instead of just reduced geometry. Now, if we go here to mesh options, we'll go ahead and dial in maybe 5,000. So you can raise the resolution as high as you want. Let's try 10,000. Very neat. Again, nice even quads here. Kind of like when we were using the divide node with the bricker turned on, only minus the uh, reduced geometry here. So this is using the instant meshes algorithm, I suppose. You can also try to click on quad dominant. You can change the crease angle as needed. So you can move that up to 60 or even down to, say, 20. So depending on the type of object you're using, maybe not necessarily in a hard surface situation, but maybe uh, with the right parameters you can utilize this, uh, or for scan data that you bring in, photogrammetry objects, this might be a better alternative than just the poly reduce, but I'll leave that up to you.